face value and place value. Hey, this face has value. Let's do this. We've got these 10 symbols called digits. We arrange digits into numbers. How's that work? Here's the big idea. We can think about digits in two ways. Face value, the value of the digit all by itself, just name the digit, five. And place value, the value of its place in the number, just name the place. The place value for the three is tens, for the two is ones. The five digit has the same face value here and here. They're five of something in each number, but the place value changes what it's worth. 15 blocks is a lot smaller than 51 blocks. In the tens place, the five is worth 50. Each place is always worth 10 times as much as the one to its right. So 1 times 10 is 10. 10 tens, 10 times 10, make 100. 10 times 100 make 1,000, and so on. Get to know this chart. Those are the place names. Math question. What's the place value of 5 in this number? Well, first, find it. Then figure out how much it's worth by recalling those place names. Ones, tens, hundreds. Its place value is hundreds. Its face value is 5. So that five digit stands for 500 blocks. What's the place value of three in these numbers? Find them. Ones, thousands, hundreds place. Now, can you do it without the chart? Practicing it with your notes and without right away is a good way to stretch your brain. But don't just remember the answer. Remember how you got it. Then you can try it on ones that you don't know and they'll be coming up soon. Because that's the basics. We'll talk about it a little more in the next lesson.